Hello, welcome to another video. As you know, the last weekend we uploaded this dynamic color transition pack for Premiere Pro 2017, 2018, and 2019. And also we made a video how to change the language in Premiere Pro 2017, 18, and 19. If you don't have an English, so you won't be able to use this because this is created in English script version. And that's why you won't be able to use any other language. Anyway, as I mentioned the last week, this is free, it won't be forever, so make sure to go ahead and download. The links will be in the description and download for free. As I said, this has over 100 templates ready to use, just drag and drop, as you know. And also some people, for some reason, are requesting the project, the whole project. Actually, I never share the project, you know, Premiere Pro project or After Effects project. But in this case, I'm going to show you because this is the most... Uh, project requested, so I'm gonna play and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can go ahead and check on my YouTube channel and play as many times you want. And also, you know, as I said, so when you download, let me show you the folder. So you will have this folder, you know, this. first you have to download this uh, 4K Dynamic Color Transition Pack and install. If you don't know how to install, I have my two YouTube videos, you know, this is for Windows who is using Windows and this is for Mac who is using Mac, definitely. And, you know, make sure to check if you don't know how to install, install first and then go ahead and download the 4 Dynamic Color Premiere Slide project. When you open this folder, you have a bunch of folders inside of this folder, of course. And so we're going to go ahead and focus on this called IMG, basically the image and also the sound effects. As always, I don't upload image or sound in my project, as you know, whoever been following for long. Uh, you know, and Nera too, of course. And so I'm going to go ahead and the first step is collect your image. I already have my image in this folder, so I rename it IMG001 all the way up to IMG017. You have to do the same if you're using image, of course. If you're using video, definitely you don't have to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and select Control a to select, Control c to copy, go in here, open this folder, Command uh, small b and Mac, Control small b and PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with the sound as I said. And go ahead, Command C to copy, go back in here, look for the folder, Command small b to paste. Now, if you want to use the same sound I'm using this project, I will leave the link down below in the description, of course this called band sound it's amazing you know most of them has free some of them has uh, you know a little price so you can go ahead and check the only thing you have to do is subscribe and their channel give them a credit you know share in Facebook or Twitter that's the only thing you have to do as I say most of them is free so you can go ahead and download and create your project and as I said I will leave the link in the description Okay, once you download everything, the project, you know, and replace your image, of course, in the folder. Oh, as you see, here's the Premiere Pro project. Basically, it's created in 2018. So we'll be able to open 18 and 19, of course. And let me go ahead and open my Premiere. This is the latest version. I'm going to go ahead and click Open Project, not New Project, Open Project. I'm going to drive into my desktop and my folder and the Premiere Pro project and I'm gonna go ahead and open. If you rename it the image, you won't have any problem. When this windows pop up, just click OK because it's at a different name just with the extension number one as you see. So we will have uh, two different projects in here, 2018 and 19, of course. And here we got, as you see, we got the project, the image, the effect and the sound of course. Now, if you're using video, you don't want to use the image, but you want to use this 
project. So you can go ahead and here, as you see where the footage, so you can go ahead and, you know, just replace it. Click this, right click, and just replace the footage. So the window will pop up and just uh, drive into your folder and look for the uh, clip or the image you want to use. And the same thing with the sound. So if you go in here, sound effects, just click, you know, replace the footage and you will be able to replace any sound you like to use. That's the way and easy to customize or open the project. I will share on my website definitely. The link will be in the description, of course. Now, if you want to create from scratch, there is another way and much easier. You know, so you can create your own with the video or image. As I said, this is the package, contains over 100 templates, and I'm gonna go and start with this. So I'm gonna go minimize this window. I'm gonna go ahead, new sequence. I'm gonna go settings, that's the way I like. I'm gonna go 1080p, and I'm gonna rename this to maybe. Hit OK. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this into the timeline. Make sure to keep the existing settings because this is 4K definitely. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in this, holding on, you know, the plus key on the keyboard. Make sure select because it's 4K, right click, of course, is scale to frame size. And then holding our option, we're gonna duplicate and drag into the first layer. And then we're gonna go ahead and look for the image in case you're using video, of course, you have to go ahead and look for the video, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop and make sure select it, go to effect, uh, actually, let me go ahead, effects, and make sure to look for the track mat, track mat key, of course. Make sure just apply to the image and make sure select it, go effect control panel, make sure to have any third layer. And we will have this basically, just drag and drop, quick and few steps, you know. Make sure select this on the top, go into essential graphics. If you don't have go window essential graphics panel, you know, and uncheck maybe the edge in this case and select the down and the bottom and uncheck the mask. And also we're gonna play with the opacity. And also you can play with the color if you don't like white and leave it 100% if you like. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure, uh, apply another one, make sure, go ahead and maybe this one, or this one maybe. And I'm gonna go ahead, drag and drop, as I said, right click, uh, scale to frame, holding an option, duplicate, and look for the image. I'm gonna go ahead and look for the this image maybe, just drag and drop, make sure selected, as I said, uh, go into the effect panel, drag and drop the track mat key, make sure select it, go back and make sure to put in the tail layer. And you will have this basically. And the same thing, we're gonna go ahead and check the edge in this case and go ahead, check this, I mean select this on the bottom and uncheck mask and make sure the opacity is 20%. Beautiful. And we will have this basically. Nice. Now, I'm gonna show you a quick tip in this case. Uh, let me open this, the full screen, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And those two templates, we have from the top to bottom and this from the left to right. But you will like to have in your projects from in both sides, you know, from top to bottom, from the bottom to top, from left to right, from right to left. So, I'm gonna show you the quick and easiest way to have that effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. So I'm gonna go ahead and see where I have this uh, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you so you will know and have an idea how to make this nice animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop. As always, as I said, scale to frame size, call it an option, alt and PC, duplicate, look for the image or video. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe this image and make sure select, go, let me close this actually and go effect, track mat, you know, and you will have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure is in the third layer, definitely, okay. And make sure, you know, select on the top, you know, make sure and check the edge and go down here and check the mask and also the opacity 20% or if you want to have a different color. Beautiful, this is what we have. And so, if you would like to have from the right to left, there is another way and quick and premiere to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them, hold it on option, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate, and I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, uh, replace the image. Make sure it's selected, I'm gonna replace for this image, hold it on option, 
and just release it. If you go and see, you will have this with different image. Now, how do I change from different size? So go into the effect panel and look for the horizontal flip. As you see, we have inside the video effects, transform and horizontal flip. So just apply it. Same thing, apply this on the bottom and you will have from the different side. I mean different, yes, the animation from different side. The same thing you can do with this, you know, go ahead and apply, make sure, you know, just apply in this case vertical and you will have from the bottom to the top as well. And yep, that's all. And you can create as many you want. As I say, it's over 100 templates. You can just, uh, you know, explore and you will have a bunch of options. Now, once we have this, we have to go ahead and select all of them, right click next account. I'm going to call holder one and the same holder two. This holder three. And as you guess, I'm going to go ahead and rename this holder four. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit so we can see better this. Actually, let me zoom out. I mean, zoom in. And we can just top them up. You know, let me go ahead and put this in the top. Maybe this up here. And the last one, you know, up here. As I say, you can create as many you want using image or video. If we play, this effect will be nice, you know, after you apply this with a few steps, as you see. So you can have an image as I have in here, or you can have a video, of course. So I'm going to show you a little bit more uh, interesting in this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this. I'm going to go ahead at the 86. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in list. And I'm going to pull two images. So this is quick transition, basically. Let me just go ahead and maybe this one and go to, let me see if this one maybe, you know, and just put right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the 86. 086 so should be in here it's right here so i'm gonna go ahead and pull right here so and you know make sure to scale to frame because it's 4k and we're using this and full hd which is 1920 by 1080 anyway so you see this so we can go ahead and select and make sure to see where the animation ends right there and just hit the m on the keyboard at a marker and you can you know you will be able to just uh, place in the right place you know so let me go ahead and play so you will have this uh, fast transition and nice animation look opens and different image so you know as i said you can just go ahead and explore the whole package is over 100 templates and make sure to have in the english language and hope you guys like it as i said this is the easiest way you know using this uh dynamic color transition pack for Premiere. Make sure to download before we take off from the site. As I said, this is 100% free. The only thing you have to do is subscribe to my two YouTube channels, you know, English and Spanish, and make sure to keep my uh, my site, you know, visiting because I'm uploading more projects, as I say. And also we're working on another package, so we'll be soon on the website. And make sure I don't have anything else to say, so make sure, as I say, like on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and see you next time.